Since I'm at it, I think I'll make uh, another two. That's one there right now. We'll just make another one there. Hardest part's always getting this thing on there. There we go. I don't know if you can see those lines or not, it's pretty dark, but the wood's pretty dark here. You got these lines dividing it into four, and we're doing the kerf, and what I'll be doing is making the blades this thickness. And as you can see here, I've got a line drawn up and you'll say, well, where, where do you know, where do you come with this line? Well, what you do is measure over whatever the thickness of your hub is here, you measure over one inch. This is one inch hub, so you measure over one inch. You've got the line up. Now the center hole is just a little higher, so it doesn't rub against the table. I've got my saw set up an inch and a half, or half an inch, I'm sorry. And that cuts a nice groove in it. And I just got a couple more to do. And this one's done. There we've got a sample. Got a nice fit in here. Got the blade all set. We'll just cut the rest of them. So here I'm cutting my blades at 8 inches. Just using a washer here, the round off the tips of the blades. And then I'll just uh, take them over to the bandsaw and the sander, knock off those little corners. Got that all sanded down. Now we'll just take the tape off and we'll just touch up the edges a bit. Okay, now we're just gonna put the blades in. I'm just using some uh, outdoor glue. sure they're both sides are right down at the bottom that way you know your blades straight up and down okay I'll be doing the rest of these off camera okay I removed the excess glue most of it anyhow and just make sure that these are all seated properly that you have no gaps in between the blade and the hub and that completes the prop. So next, uh, I think we're ready for assembly. Here we just uh, attach at the bottom bracket. Now you're wondering where that position came from. Well, this is the thickness of the prop, the hub. So we have the hub thickness and a little bit of clearance and a little bit of thread at the end for the nut. 
So I laid that out, found the center point, measured the center point from the edge, and put on the bracket. This is the platform where she'll be standing, and that'll be going in there. Here I just got a piece of copper wire, it's 14 gauge, take about a half an inch or so and I bend it over and this is what I use to join the legs together of our body parts. Uh, you could use bolts, I like using wires, they're cheap and it's easy to do. I'm just using here a number six one inch wood screw that'll fasten the legs to the platform. Then I use the wire, put on a little washer, grab the body, slide the body on, another little washer. Next leg. Take the wire, bend it opposite to the other one, then we just need to cut it off. So when you want to take it apart, you just straighten out the wire, pull out the wire. Very simple. And you'll need to do that when he's going to paint it. So we're just putting her together so he knows how it goes together. So these arms, I usually put them on here first. Just makes things a little bit easier. And you can even put the leg on or the post. These posts are just fitting in the hole. We don't glue them, so if we ever need to replace the parts or anything, we can just pull them out. And it makes it easier for painting.
some nut cake. Still need a tuna can. My wife said she'll get me one. Just need a tuna can. That'll be the wash tub. And we'll just have one screw to hold that on and I'll drill a hole in the tub to let it drain. Whatever. Okay, we drilled some holes here and we inserted some copper wires in the bottom of this. And uh, all we have to do now is put her in. Okay, that about does it. Uh, we look like we're pretty well complete. This is the base here that this rod will sit in and we can mount it to a railing or whatever we, we got. So we thank you for uh, joining us on this build. Uh, I think we're all complete. Uh, the customer is going to paint this himself. So uh, we'll call it done.